All right, so hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, today I'm doing some custom pack stuff. I'm trying to do a couple of different things at once, really. So one thing is I'm trying to get a really like overpowered walk build, but I'm trying to do it by using the Abomination. So this is a new pet that is, um, it actually is in the Unicorn pack, but I haven't picked it up yet. So at the end of turn, it swallows and copies the ability of the leftmost starter battle shot pet until end of battle. This means that if you have one of these at level one and there's a crocodile at the left of your shop when you end your turn, It'll eat the crocodile and gain the crocodile's ability for that turn. But as you level it up, it can eat multiple pets. So it can eat like a crocodile, a red dragon, a werewolf. And then at the start of combat, it'll like do some snipes, uh, <laughs> give everything crisp and grow. So there's some really insane stuff you can do with that. I'm intentionally trying to get warg though, because what if you did abomination and then eating lots of rocks? Like the amount of buffs you could get, or not buffs, but snipes will be insane, so that is what I'm trying to go for. Um, I do have a combo, which means I'm also at risk of axe handle dogs destroying me. Okay, I'll take that. I'm actually all about the draws. Like, I do want to try and stall out this game, because it's going to be very strong, but it's probably going to be kind of weak early. So yeah, if I can just stay at 5 HP and 0 trophies for a while, that's fine with me. Um, yeah, I'll buy that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so just to make something clear, I'm not actually going to be using the Hawk's ability for a long time. Like, even when I get to tier 4, I'd probably pick up a rock, but I don't want one on my final team. I want I want the rocks to exclusively get eaten by uh, Abominations, and then if I happen to not find any rocks during a turn, that's fine, because we can just try and make him eat some other random big snipers. Uh, anyway, let's get a combo here. And Capybara. Yeah, we can swap in a lot of stuff, so I think we grab that. Gonna roll these, they're good pets, but if we can get stuff with big buffs, that'd be nicer. Start a battle, copy faint ability is level 1 from highest tier enemy, I'm fine with that. Think stack that, we can roll another time and sell this for something maybe. And we can. And we actually do have some mana, so we can get like a couple of uh, <laughs> a couple of snipes off. And let's do it that way. Alright, so I'm keeping the gingerbread frozen because I do think it's the best tier 2 equipment out at the moment and it just works with basically every build. Any build where you benefit from leveling stuff up, uh, yeah, <laughs> this tends to be pretty nice. Okay, well there's combos. I mean, I probably do just do that for the extra big snipe. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Alright, yeah, don't really care about these. Is there anything at tier 3 I'm going for? This would be good, because there's a lot of stuff at tier 4 I want. I want Abomination, Rock, and Parrots, I think. And this, yeah, Cyclops. And <laughs> even the XP stuff, if I have any of, the others, any of the others already. But yeah, we'll just leave that as it is. Maybe... Ooh, Blue Squad. I maybe could have frozen the pill in case I did find a Blobfish. Or even a Betfish. Like, I, I do want to get stats on this squad at some point, because we're going to need it. Uh, that's pretty cool. We're going to start here. And these are the things I want, and there is a rock, so yeah, we can we can be kind of safe. Alright, and don't care about these. Again, good snipers, and they'd be great to eat with the Abomination, but not right now. And honestly, Axe Handle Hound is probably better than the Wombat. Although, I can't sell the Wombat to buy rock this turn, so <laughs> I will do it this way. And yeah, keeping those frozen, because I really don't know if I'm going to be buying much else. I could be buying Avocado. Hmm... There's also pineapple. Like, pineapple on this would be amazing. Very overpowered. But um, if we get to the point where we're trying to use multiple rocks, then we're going to need donuts. So we guarantee that all the buffs go on the same thing. Because the rock is start a battle, gain one... Sorry, give one random friend a head, plus two mana, triggers three times. So if it's right in the second position, then front guy gets all of it. Uh, the further back he is, the more spread out it's going to be across everything. But with a donut, you can make sure it all goes on the same thing. But anyway, yeah, we're leaving these. Again, very strong compared to these things, but... I think we already have a very broken combo, so <laughs> we're probably fine. I say that, and then we run into this. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to see. We actually got kind of lucky that they didn't hit it too many times. A draw. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Uh, Wyvern. It is good if I can get another level this turn. I'm not convinced I will, though. And I don't care about getting tier 5s, so I think I'm just going to roll it. I'm going to see if I can find this this turn, and um... Ah, I mean, let's try and not lose. Sure, I'll grab that. 
Okay, I can pill a Bedfish, and I do want the Walk to have pretty high attack. Um, the Rock Triggering fast also helps, but again, I may end up getting rid of that, so... Yeah, I am going to pill it onto you. And then maybe buy a Bat? Like, I'm just going to end up selling whatever I buy again anyway, so... Yeah, we'll just buy a kind of small thing. Everything's still in a good spot. And yeah, this is going to be kind of brutal. <laughs> yeah. So what is that? Like eight snipes for three damage each, each I think. It's pretty strong. Okay, parrots. Obviously great with, great with rock. Um, gonna leave him there for a second. But yes, we are looking for abomination. Good. So we have the first piece. So we can get rid of Capybara now, I think. We're going to need a lot of stats on the Abomination, because we want to make sure we're chaining... Actually, I guess the Abomination doesn't matter too much, depending on what abilities we get. Because if I have a very tiny Abomination, then something like the Leopard ability isn't going to be that helpful. But yeah, stuff like Crocodile, Red Dragon, etc. Other things can be pretty good. I'm tempted to Gingerbread that. But it doesn't do anything yet. Yeah, freeze it. Let's just keep rolling, because we need XP. And I can get rid of the Thunderbird, because... This is permanent, these two are permanent. Um, these two I could get rid of. And I'm actually going to unfreeze that because I'd rather find a pill now. Uh, Toad is going to be very strong in this build. I'm going to hold off for now. Yeah, I don't know, it would also be nice if we have multiple rocks going off. And... Okay, yeah, I'm just going to sell Thunderbird. So, sell Thunderbird, buy Blobfish, Blobfish, and then Abomination eats rock, so we're going to have another um, trigger there. Oh wait, this is actually... <laughs> I should have bought the donut, this is awful. Okay, so all of these are going to have the rock ability, because you will eat something from the shop first, and then you'll copy it. Um, but all of these things are going to be buffing the things in front of them, which means the warg is kind of not guaranteed to get all of it, but we'll see how it goes. And there we go. So we have tri triple rock. If we have a donut on you, then this can be guaranteed. But honestly, it's probably stronger this way. Even if we're not guaranteed for everything to hit this, um, the individual shots do do three times as much damage, thanks to the the pineapple. And the eel, again, another thing that you could eat. And yay, a pill. I, <laughs> I almost rolled it. Okay, so let's level you. Don't care about what comes out, really. But, yeah. Actually, I say that, but the Stingray stats could be pretty cool. So yeah, take the flashlights. You can just sit there for a minute. Um, I could swap in a toad, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not bothered. And I'm just going to keep rolling. So we're going to get a random thing from the Abomination, or potentially nothing. We're going to get a Lynx. So I can still freeze Blobfish Pill. But yeah, we're going to copy Lynxes, and that's actually pretty strong. And yeah, you're still buffing that, so that's all fine. You're eating two things! Never mind, we're very strong. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Big snipes. And yeah, fine. All right, we're already at five wins, though. Hmm. Okay. So, do I keep pushing the Abomination? I probably should. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to keep doing that. All right, let's do that on you. Um, leave other pill. I could buy Cell Zebra, but at this point, I don't really want to force stats over just getting good stuff. Parrot's risky. But honestly, I can afford some losses if I have to take them, so... Yeah, there's a chance that this... No, there's a chance this copies that first, and then this one won't have an ability. But this one's guaranteed to get whatever comes out of that, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna risk it. I'm just gonna keep rolling instead of freezing anything that's, like, that amazing. These are faints, so we can't copy those. Parrot is good. Um, Skunk would be fine to copy, but again, I'm gonna risk it. Let's just roll again. And... Yeah, so Crocodile and Rock are going to get eaten. But we can buy these next turn, and that's really nice. So yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's going to be another win. And the uh, Warg up front is getting the buffs. Oh yeah. <laughs> there are so many good things with the Warg as well. Like, um, I've have, I have Wolverine, like, Toad in the pack. Again, don't know if I'm going to try it this build, but... Yeah, just thinking about having Wolverine, you could have like Rock here with um Donut, and then Wolverine, Wolverine, and then double Rock back here or something, and then you you would just be golden. Like nothing's going to stop that. 
Okay, I am going to level this first, because if we can roll into more abominations, then we do still get value that way. Uh, I mean, Stego is very strong for an abomination to eat. So yeah, I think I'll freeze that. Oh no, I can freeze both! Yeah, why not eat both of those? I know this isn't that big, because these are all tiny, but like... We're fine. And I can freeze rock for next turn. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's only one turn, though. Now, let's just let's keep rolling. So I could I could have kept that frozen so it'd get um, eaten at the end of next turn, but then I'd need to keep it frozen while I'm rolling, and I'm still looking for XP at the moment. I need to pick up a tiger at some point as well. I know we're not even at tier 6 yet, but... And that's actually a loss, I think. Nope, it is not. <laughs> okay. 7-5. Come on. Oh, there's so much good stuff. Okay, so, level this. Uh, Sepna is start a battle. Again, it won't give too much, because it's based on the amount of attack it has. White Tiger could be very interesting, because that means that the Abomination will level up the parrots behind it. So I could have even more parrots in the chain. I, I think we have to. We need to see what this does. So I do I get rid of the rock and start losing some turns? I think that's what I'm going for. So let's do that. I'm going to play that there. I'm going to stack you there, because we need to stagger the attack. Yeah, like I could have bought the pair or something instead. And maybe freeze links. Yeah, it's going to eat three things. Let's make sure we at least have two good things ready. And yeah, donuts. I am going to throw that on there now, so if we manage to eat any more rocks, then that'll, that'll happen. So you're going to have white tiger, links, and the eel ability. So then everything back here should be leveled up. Like, all the way, I think. <laughs> And then they're all going to shoot off Link Shots and Eel. But that depends on how it gets copied. It actually might not, because I, I don't know if this copies at level 2. I don't know if it's going to keep track of it having the Eel for when it gets to level 3. But I guess we'll find out. Hmm. I haven't tested any of this, by the way. I've had one run with this so far, and it died pretty early, so... <laughs> it's all new. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, they all got everything. Okay, White Tiger, very good. Very, very good. <laughs> I'm freezing again. Um, I am still going to donut this. I don't know if we're going to find the rock again, but we have like another turn to look. Uh, Sepna is fine. We do now have a problem here again, but we're at 5 HP, so I'm, I'd actually be kind of happy with taking a loss. So yeah, I could freeze some of this stuff, but I do want to roll a bit. Rock, okay. Oh, I wish I could fix this, like, right now. Uh, I think we just keep rolling. We just have to pray that these copy in the right order, because this would have been amazing. Is that or I stack one of those there, but I feel like it's a waste of the White Tiger at that point, so... Yeah, we'll just... we'll roll. Pill doesn't do anything. Stego is, again, very strong. I guess I'll freeze that one. And White Tiger for next turn! Let's do it! Okay. Please, copy in the right order. It did not. Okay, so we only get we only get these two doing something, sadly. Uh, at least we have a, a giant thing as well. But yeah, look at that. Look at that. Okay. So yeah, keep you frozen. Um, I need another XP or something. I just need, you know, a pair. We're gonna leave like normal-ish looking things here. Stego, like, Stego is fine. I, I rolled the pair immediately, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> pair is back, we can do that. I guess I'll start freezing stuff that shows up. But none of these are even start a battle. Alright, start a battle werewolf. It is the daytime, so that won't do anything. And we have a mana hound, and we've rolled eight times. So we will have a lot of mana. It doesn't um, spam the walk with mana, but there is something to that. So yeah, just, <laughs> just eat everything. And yeah, I, I think this is going to be a win. We'll try again next run. I could have intentionally sabotaged the order of my team, but... Oh! It's not. It's not a win. Okay, great. Run continues. Okay. Uh, Pizza. No, pizza is risky. I don't want to freeze any of that. So, Tiger. Tiger could have been fun with the warg. Um, it would mean more snipes. But I don't have guaranteed snipes in the first place, so I'm not going to throw away a parrot for that. I could Gingerbread Man. And I think that'd be fine if I could get the level. 
Because then I just need one more XP on there. Uh, skunk's fine. Another abomination doesn't do anything. Keep rolling. Another parrot. Okay, again, we're at 4 HP. I'm going to stack this where it is. And order should still be fine. This is going to get to, um, you know, 6 attack in the fight. So they'll be the same. But I think it still copies in the right order because that's end of turn. So I think we're still good here. I don't mind if we don't find any good copies. So yeah, we're going to get Dolphin, Seahorse. Oh no, you're one as well. So yeah, Dolphin, Archimedes, and Seahorse. And Archimedes is actually... We get one out of that. So that's something. Going to freeze that. Send again. So that's probably not that good. So we may have another, another round after this. I'm just hoping to find another rock or two. That's what I really want to see. So many little things. And it is a loss. Good. Okay. Um, try and force one of these to go up, I guess. It depends. If I find a white tiger, then it doesn't matter. But outside of that, I very much would like these to be <laughs> a little bit stronger. Tiger doesn't do anything. Hawks are fine copy. But I'm going to keep rolling. Yeah, nothing I'm really interested in there either. Uh, Mantis Shrimp is pretty good. Keep rolling. Start about to transform the backmost. Okay, so I don't know if Cockatrice can hit multiple different things. Because it says the backmost level 1 or lower enemy to a rock. So I feel like if you had multiple of these, they'd probably just keep transforming the same backmost pets. So I don't think that actually helps me at all. So I'm going to keep rolling it. That would be very strong. It'd be a bit overkill, but <laughs> I'm just going to keep rolling. I want to see something more interesting. I either want to die or see something more interesting. And yeah, we're only going to copy two things here. But they are both pretty good things, so for all I know, that may be a win. And yeah, you're going to be level two, so you also get double the value here. Wait. That's not that many trumpets. <laughs> It's actually still going. It's actually still going. We just need one good turn of stuff to copy. Uh, oh, Red Dragon and Rock. Yep. <laughs> there they are. I could buy equipment, but we're so close to getting a level on there, so... Mm, I mean, if I don't get the level on there, then it doesn't really matter. Because even if I level this up, um, that's only going to be one extra trigger of something. So I think we just kind of let the Abomination have these, and then these two are both going to be on everything. So there's going to be a lot of crisp, and honestly we don't need anywhere near that much. Or maybe that's a good reason to get rid of this. Yeah, we probably want as many snipes as possible, so... No, because crisp will go first. So we can give crisp and then warg. But the damage is so tiny! <laughs> okay, yeah. Get rid of that. Um, Hawk is fine. I'm going to keep rolling though, because... Like, you know, it's probably the last time. We can find something better. Sepna is kind of cool. Um, I guess the attack would be very low, though. Lynx. I'll freeze Lynx for a bit. And there's all of these. Another parrot. Oh, we almost got the level up there. Okay, I'm just going to buy that, then we can roll for the final thing. White Tiger. Sadly, that would trigger at the end. Yeah, no, no, that doesn't do anything anyway, because even if these get to level 3, it's just, it's just going to give them another White Tiger trigger. So, yeah. I could freeze it for next turn, but you get eaten anyway, so that's just that's just a throwaway, I think. And, hey, Mantis Shrimp, good thing to end on. Alright, we, we kind of got it. I actually managed to end on a rock. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, wait, but they have an actual team. Uh, I mean, almost... We almost had that. Okay, Howling Cow is based on HP, so that doesn't do anything. I will freeze Crocodile, I think. Yeah, Crocodile's probably about as good as I'm going to find. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's take White Tiger, just because then I do get to still have two things. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but <laughs> I, I think it looks cool. It's about the same, as long as I find other things to throw in. And hey, this is pretty good. Oh, you're going to freeze on the left, though, aren't you? If I freeze that and roll, it's going to get eaten for the white tiger. But is that a problem? 
I actually think it's not, because they're, they're all still level 2. So I think they'll still level each other up, and then I can have the other thing. So I can still roll a few times and potentially swap out the Hawk. Uh, Lynx. <laughs> I would rather have a Lynx. And yeah, just... Oh, actually, I still need to roll. I can't buy the pizza, otherwise the Hawks get eaten anyway. Plus, the pizza could mess up order. I know I can shift things around a bit, but... Yeah, I think we're fine. I will freeze those in case there's a draw or something. But I think we are okay. I'm hoping we're okay. We do have a lot of snipes. But it is <laughs> round 18 in customs, so there's some really rough stuff around. We have a Chimera, but if we can kill that before it summons a ton of stuff, we might be right. And nah. Okay, they did get us. But that wasn't a bad first, like, proper attempt. Like, this definitely kind of showcased this guy. Alright, let's go again. Let's try and get a, a proper one. We can do this. <laughs> I think I'm going to change up my strat a little bit this time. Uh, hold on, do I buy that? Or do I take the Vargast? I'm going to buy this, but the other one might have been the right play, especially if people are playing that dog. That dog, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's going to be a loss. Might be okay, though. We just need to not lose next round. And honestly, I'm fine with draws. And yeah, no, I will take these, because this is good on this team either way. Don't care about an apple. Um, I will try for the... Wait, is it better to get an extra snipe off? No, I think I combine those, because having so many things with one attack, I'd rather have the extra <laughs> weakness. Because it means they'll actually be able to get kills. And yeah, that's going to be a win, I think. Pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I'm losing my brain, so I can't remember what I just said, but what I'm going to be doing this round is probably not going for WAG at all. I just want to have a really clean Abomination game. And I think it's not really worth getting everything to tier 3, because it's very difficult to find three good um, starter battle effects as opposed to just like one or two great ones. So yeah, it means I don't need to invest in as much into that, and I can potentially find more good things um, while I'm rolling. And let's combine those. We'll grab this. Don't think we need a pill yet. Um, jellyfish could be fine. But yeah, I, I think I want to keep looking for combos. No, we'll grab jellyfish. Yeah, grab jellyfish. You can still hit that. Fairly happy with the order of everything else. Gonna maybe swap those two rounds. And it's looking fine. Okay, headshot. Great for draws. Um, I'd have to sell the wag to feel good about picking it up. But I think I might do that. Because, again, I can't remember if I've um, said, but I don't think I'm going to be doing wag. We're just doing abomination, so... Yeah, and hey, that's kind of nice. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to give that a gingerbread man. Do I want more levels or do I want snipey things? I think I want more levels, because then I can also get more benefit out of other things having gingerbread. If I can find more. I will shift my frontline guy soon. <laughs> For just this second, he stays there. Okay, so you buff the thing in front. Let's just make this massive. I think that's fine. Uh, it's not a draw, sadly. A little bit short. Okay. So, Thunderbird. Um, it's a decent pet. I don't think I'm going to be grabbing that, though. I could garlic you, but I only really care about the wyvern this turn, because almost everything I'm looking to keep permanently is on this tier, tier 4. So, um, I'm gonna hold on to... Hold on to Gigi Man this round. If I don't find a good place for it, then I'm going to unfreeze and look for avocados next round. But for now, we're just rolling really hard for these three. I need combos. Um, uh, leave it. <laughs> leave it. We're okay. Come on, single? Yay, okay. And Cyclops. Cyclops is good. It means big leveling. Um, I am going to sell this because the other ones are still potential combos. So Cyclops, good synergy with Jellyfish here. I throw that to the front now. I guess you can buff that. Or this, maybe. It doesn't really matter. I don't know. That one, then. <laughs> Just do something. And I still have the Jellyfish frozen. Not the Jellyfish, the gingerbread guy. But maybe I should take that off. Mm, thing is, it is good, but yeah, if I find avocados this turn, then I'd rather buy those. I'm not really rolling for much else. And yeah, we're going to level this up immediately, because I need to see tier 4s. 
Um, we did find Abomination. Parrot is also good, but I don't care until I have Abomination, so we will be taking that first. And Wyvern isn't going to help me out anymore, because, again, don't care for tier 5s. So we can get rid of that first. Grab this, we can still roll a few times. Um, garlic and stuff is fine. But, I don't know, if we roll once more and find another one of these, I think I'm selling the, <laughs> the Vargas. And Stoats, I will definitely freeze those. And I think I'm going to freeze Gingerbread Man as well, because they will be helpful. Can't buy that this turn, and I won't need it next turn, so... Yeah, send. So, you're not going to be leveling up anymore. At least this turn. If we can get another notch on there, then it'd be kind of useful. Uh, that's bad, right? No, it's good! It's a draw! No, it's a win. <laughs> we had enough! Okay. Actually doing pretty well. Uh, yo, another Cyclops. That could be pretty helpful. I think... Eat you. I saw these first. Uh, tiny, tiny Kraken. I think I'm good. Try again. A rock. Okay, well, rock can stay over Archimedes, I think. Because, again, I could go for the combo, and there's some permanent stats on here. But I really don't care about any of this. And, yeah. We'll just eat it. So, let's do this for now. I could do this, because you might help me in fights and stuff. So, sure, let's do that. And you're a great thing to eat. I don't know why I froze it, because he's going to eat it anyway. <laughs> and yeah, you're going to be giving more stuff to that, so that's all fine. Send it. So that's what, like a 5 damage snipe, I think? Oh, 7. Alright, cool. Safe. Already at 5 trophies. It's going pretty well. Okay, Lynx, I could freeze that for you again. Or like most of these, but we really need to roll. There's a lot of things I need to find at this tier. Uh, we don't need multiple abominations. And again, Hawk's fine, but there's a lot of fine things. I could Jinship Red him. No, because I need you to be... I don't need you to gain XP in the fight. I need you to have the actual level yourself. So this is good for parrots or something, but we can try and find chocolate later. Uh, there is actual chocolate. Okay, I'm going to sell you by this. And maybe risk it? Oh, no, take that. That's fine. Uh, don't need pineapples. Send. So I'm probably going to level the Cyclops before anything. Because then I can get the most value out of that if I get levels on anything else. Um, I think I did say that I wouldn't be trying to get everything to level 3. But if we have a level 2 Cyclops on the team, it is so much easier to get it to level 3, so that might change things. So, yeah, we'll see what this does. Uh, Tiger does fit on the squad, kind of. So, yeah, we could go for that. Sell this. I could sell both of these and then buy a couple of things. Kind of tempted to have an Eagle so I don't lose. But yeah, Highland Cow. This isn't big enough for that to be very helpful. I do want a Tiger. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to run a couple of things here. So let's take the Tiger for now. Take this as well, but I'm probably going to end up reselling it. And then we can copy Skunk ability. And yeah, for now, just Tiger the Eagle. I think that's the, the best value there. It's like, people probably aren't going to have massive things at this stage. <laughs> excluding... Excluding the broken ones. Which is a lot of what you see in customs at the moment, but maybe we'll be okay. <laughs> we will not be, okay. 3 HP. We can manage. Hey, Parrot, nice. Okay, so... Getting rid of... Eagle first. Yeah, get rid of Eagle. Play you. I'm going to insta-level... Actually, no, we want to level you, right? Okay. Could have got it to level 3, but that's fine. Um, level 2 Leopard ability isn't bad compared to some other things. Don't think Highland Cow would be enough. We'll just roll the rest. Okay, Crocodile is very big. Um, I will reposition, by the way. I'm just seeing what other options I have. Okay, so you level up, you get some stats. You copy two things, which is going to be these two. You get to copy one. So we're going to get a lot of Leopard triggers, which isn't as good as the Crocodile. But... At this stage of the game, it might still be enough. Depends on the team we go against, really. And we actually might be fine, because that is... <laughs> very small backline, yeah. And that's interesting. I completely forgot about that pet. I need to try an ailment build with like, all the new stuff. Well, the old stuff with the new stuff, I mean. Anyway, roll. 
Uh, I will freeze a crocodile because I want to make sure I'm not losing. I can freeze links as well, but I don't want to freeze too many things yet because I am still looking for the levels. Because if I can get those two leveled up while I still have the Cyclops, that'd be ideal. Um, this helps, so I will grab that. That is XP, but I'd have to sell something. I could freeze you, I guess. Because like the jellyfish is doing decent work, but it's not it's not a a set thing on my team. And that's good. So we can copy crocodile and lynx. Gingerbread man on there is also fine, but again, I'd rather actual chocolate. So for now, we just keep sending it. Um this is going to be a stronger stronger snipe thing than last time, by a bit. But the team is also quite a lot stronger, so we'll see. Nah, we're good. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, Abomination is actually so fun. It's a very nice pet. Okay, we're at 3 HP, let's, let's start doing some odd stuff. So, buy sell that. Um, Insta level you and buy another parrot, I think. And yeah, we're freezing that shrimp. So we can do this. So yeah, you're going to eat two things. Uh, I don't want to freeze a bat. Let's just roll a bunch. So we're going to get a wasted um, level on there, I think, because this won't be eating three things, so even level three parrot won't be able to like, get great value out of it. But I'm sure we'll be okay. Don't really want the Kraken either. It's fine, but... And a rock? Do I risk the rock? I mean, it's okay. We can get like a load of um, mana that way. Ah, crocodile, fine. <laughs> okay, freeze that for next turn. We're not going to be able to use it this one, but that's okay. Um, keep leaving gingerbread. I need I need at least one more level on these. If I can get one of those leveled up, then I can consider getting rid of this again. And I also need to get my abomination to level three. Ooh. Yeah, big snipes, but we also have a big snipe. It's enough, a draw. Take it. <laughs> Take it. Okay. So I could freeze both of these. They're both pretty good um targets. The leopards actually the leopard's pretty weak. Yeah, the leopard's kinda weak. Just just roll for now. Come on. Give me more. There we go. Okay. And I'm kinda tempted to take the dragon there as well. Never mind, Stegosaurus. I mean we can even do white tiger, because this um eats three things, then we can level everything up, so yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. You're gonna be level three. So that makes everything behind it level 3. We're going to get a load of stats from the Cyclops. And then these are going to get eaten and everything will be perfect. And I could save Red Dragon or something for next turn, but we have 5 rolls. We can probably find some better stuff. Or maybe we just buy Avocado. Is that alright by this? It is some extra snipes, but it's not a lot. Maybe we just buy Avocado. Almost certain that this round is going to be a win. <laughs> it's very good. I am thinking that having, like, roll synergy with this might be helpful. Oh my god, look at them. Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I want to eat. <laughs> okay. Mandrakes. I mean, potentially. Because I still don't- I haven't, um, really been looking, so I'm not sure if I'm getting, like, a level 3 Mandrake effect, or just level 1, because that's what's, um, like, in the shop. I think a popcorn on something might be right, but yeah, we need to roll for better. Leopard, again, bit weak. I don't really want to buy a cell to make that happen. Could do this, but again, come on. There's better. There's better stuff out here. Okay, that's big. Um, we could use a bat to make everything weak, and then if we do have snipes, then that will help. See, I'll freeze that. I may unfreeze it if we find loads of other better stuff. Never mind, I'm buying this. <laughs> Okay, another white tiger. Well, we don't need two of those. Um, I could slept near, but we don't have a lot of attack. So I think I still roll and hope to find a, a snipey thing. Eel. I'm, I'm risking a roll. I don't think that that's it. And skunk. Yeah, we could have ended on something worse. Alright. So this is still working. <laughs> if I can find it... Oh, that's a very big team. Even with our levels and this guy, that might not be enough. We have big snipes, and they're all weak, though. Never mind, it's enough. It's a draw, at least. Okay. Keep going. 
bat again. I, I think no. It did work out kind of well, but... Oh, we don't have the stats. Leopard just isn't enough as it is. And, like, I could do that, but it's just not... It's not doing anything. I need... I need you to be better. Okay, double croc is very nice. Um, I am going to throw it on here then, and then just roll for a, another thing. Unless I do keep the leopard. Yeah, I keep the leopard. We can just, like, see if anything better shows up on this side. And it didn't, so yeah, we'll leave that. Don't need either of those. Um, we're not going to get, like, massive level up spam this time, so we do have to rely entirely on the snipes. But maybe it'll be enough. Big team, can we kill the tiger, please? Oh, we killed everything, great. <laughs> oh my god, that was so much damage. Okay, yeah, I need to buy a, a summon or something, because that, that is happening way too often. Alright, Stego, perfect. Uh, Leopard again. I mean, yes. Yes. Bat? If I wanted Bat, I want it before all the spammy snipes, but... We can maybe freeze it. If another sniper thing shows up, then I think it's worth taking. And probably just gonna buy avocado here. Yeah, I need to find popcorn again, because I think that might be my only... My only summon here. Come on, we're so close to getting everything leveled up. Okay, I have a massive rock at the front. Which is unfortunate, because I think that might have gone off before I managed to snipe things. And is that a draw? No, it's a win. Okay, one HP. Come on. Nine trophies. Give it to me. I'm doing this. Also, oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We have White Tiger. Uh, or do I even care about White Tiger? Because if I give that to you, then we're going to have three level three triggers anyway. So it actually doesn't change much because you can't buff yourself. So the only thing we lose out on by not buying or not freezing the White Tiger here is a level on this. But it means we can have a third a third thing instead. So yeah, I think I just take Gingerbread Man. Put that there. I'm going to leave Kraken. I want big snipes and stegos. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, we don't have a lot of targets for it, so maybe I unfreeze one. But I mean, it means these two can get really big. And honestly, that might be enough by itself. That's too many. I'll freeze you. And I, I want to do that, but then we don't have... Places we can put it. Cyclops. You're giving me tiny mana snipes. I could maybe just sell Cyclops. Because then I can do that. And by this, have another Stego just like roar on the team or something. I'm kind of feeling that instead. So we'd still have two Stego targets. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to buy one of these. Yeah, I am going to buy this as well. And I'm going to roll a bit more. And I didn't see anything else worth taking, so yeah, we'll leave that. And Popcorn. I will freeze. I think I'm going to replace one of these with Popcorn. Um, it doesn't mean I still need to get the final level up, but... <laughs> you know, it might be fine. Oh, we had bad water. I didn't realize they um, made it to the same attack. But we do have two 50-50s, so... Yeah, no, it's not enough. <laughs> Wishful thinking, but no. Okay, well, there's another Stego to copy. Still worth it, I think. Red Dragon is also very nice. Um, I don't know. I don't know where to throw this. Put it on one of those. Yes, okay, that's good. So now I can put, I can level you up and put you in the second position. So that's amazing. Yep. And do I want to copy a Leopard? Leopard would probably shoot off before the Red Dragon, which isn't ideal, but... Can I find something better in three rolls? I'm not sure. So yeah, we'll um we'll just hold on to all of this and roll, I think. Again, don't really need White Tiger. It could be cool on you, but I think if we're eating a Stego, then... You know, if we eat a Stego and just have one on the team, then I think we're good. So order seems fine. I have excess gold, apparently. All right, please, let this be it. Let this be my abomination game. And what are we running against? It's a very big team. Uh, I don't know if we're okay there. Oh no, we're definitely okay. <laughs> I didn't realize we had three 50-50s at the back. 
I think we got very lucky in that they replaced my equipment and then popped my equipment, and then that gave everything a chance to get Stego buffs. That was that was incredible. Oh my god, but yeah. Abomination, very cool new pets. Big fan of this. It's probably it's probably a bit strong, at least in customs, but yeah, I can see this getting tuned down a little bit, but I think in um like the weekly or something, it could probably be okay as it is, as long as long as it's not just like a flood of all the best start of combat snipers. So yeah. I had fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye bye.